you don't like the default courses available in Python Tikinta, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own. You know how to change the default cursor in a Python app. If you don't know, don't worry, in this video I'm going to show you how. But the most important thing is that I will also show you how to create or how to use your own images to create a custom cursor. So first we have to create a window. This line is enough and then this one is enough too. But to customize your app, you can set different properties. Here we set the background color, the geometry, the title and finally a custom icon the file is available in the codes folder so when you run the app you can see that the application has this default cursor so you can change this default cursor in two ways the first one is we are going to apply a cursor to the entire app it's simple you set the property cursor to a value which is the name of the cursor you are going to use here is a list of the available cursors in Python Tikinta. For example, if I select men, I can set here cursor equal men. I run my code again. And I think I didn't close. Oh no, I closed it. You can see that the cursor changed to this men figure or to this men cursor. You can also change the cursor in another way. For example, you can say main window and you can directly access access the cursor property and you can set it to like for example hand two you can run again your code and you can see here that the cursor change to hand two so this is the first way we set the cursor for the entire app the second way is that you can set a cursor for a widget. For example, here, I'm going to create a button. I already imported the button widget here alongside with TK. So button, the master window is the main window. And now I'm going to set a cursor for this button. For example, I can select any, any cursor I want, I will select the circle cursor, circle, now if I run the app, so I didn't add, I didn't add the button, button dot back, when I add the button, okay, it has no text, me, if I run, can see that the cursor changed for the button so this is the cursor of the entire app and this is the cursor of the button but this is not the subject of the video the video is about setting an image or using your own image as a cursor so i went to this website iconsets.a.com and then i will look for cursor i can select this one not the, this one the blue one Download the image. I can select custom size and download as a PNG format. So the first cursor is this one. I can select another cursor in the form of hand, for example. I can select this one and download it. I will put the links of these cursors on the description below. So this is the second one. I'm going just to rename it. So now we downloaded two PNG for cursors, but we can't use the files as they are. To be able to use these images for our app or for your app, you have first to convert them to the format this is why we are going to use a converter so png to converter so we have this website you can simply upload your images or png images and then converter convert them to the desired format which is here ke. so we have our two cursors going to open them or upload them and then click on convert 
So after the conversion, we are going to use or put our cut files into our core or our code folder. So it is converting. Download archive. You can download file by file or download the entire archive. So here are my cursors. So I can extract them, see the files. So here are, is the first file. Here is the second file. We can also rename them. So I'm going to name my first file cursor1 and the second cursor2. Simply cursor1 and second one cursor2. So we have our files. We are going to copy them and pass them to our code folder. So here I put the cursors in the folder where the code is available alongside with the icon image. So the icon image is not related to the cursors. First, here we, to use the cursors, we are going to define two variables. The first one is cursor1. We are going to set the value of this variable to the path of the first cursor. Since it's in the current folder, we are going to use only the name. But here we are going to add something else. We are going to add the add sign. So the add sign, then the name of the cursor. So cursor or the part of the cursor. Cursor one dot curve. We are going to do the same thing for the second cursor. So we, got, we are going to name the variable cursor two and then set the path to add cursor two dot curve. Now we are going to assign or to set the first cursor to the main window, the second, to the button. But before that, we are going to customize a little bit more our button. So we are going to set the width of the button to 30. Set the font to Arial and to the size of 14. Now we are going also to change the foreground and the background color. Apparently there is an issue here. In the code. I forgot to add colon. Now I can run the code. So right now we didn't change the default cursors. I changed only or I just customized the button. We are going also to change the button padding. Again, the cursors didn't change because we didn't change the value values of the cursors property. So here I'm going to only or simply say the name or set the value to the cursor of the cursor to the defined variable here is cursor one and here is cursor two now i can earn my code okay i repeated the cursor value twice here i've got to remove this one so you can run here we can see that the second cursor of the button changed but the first cursor of the main window didn't change we are going to see why because we set it here again with second property if we run again we can see that here a customized cursor used from or created from the png that we downloaded i hope this video was helpful to you thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye